almost out of time, so this will be our last question to you gentlemen. We'll start with Mr. Elmer. Um, Nixa Public Schools has placed an emphasis on technology. How can and will you support infrastructure for technology in all of Christian County? Well, we're going to have an issue coming up in the next couple of years where that they're going to be looking at uh, how we're going to provide broadband service uh, in the rural areas. And there's some money out there, and I've had uh, a couple of different individuals with CenturyLink, SunLink, a couple of different uh, cable providers come talk to me, and they're concerned about how we get that money uh, that's, that's setting out there, and it's in the federal government right now, and how we filter that down and make sure that we're providing broadband service in these rural areas. That sort of technology, and there's other ones that are out there as well, that are also, the broadband is for everyone, but there are other dedicated things out there focused on schools and developing technology. As a state representative, we can constantly be talking to individuals in those fields, talking to our superintendents. I was just visiting with the Nixa superintendent this morning, and always being in touch with people and making sure that we understand what our schools need what's available out there, and how we can go advocate to get that to them. It's funny you should bring that question up. I didn't know that was coming up. I've been actually working with a couple of people out in the community where I live, out northwest from Nixa, that do not get internet service from either Suddenlink or AT&T. Very good friend of mine actually owns a company that puts cable a fiber optic cable in the ground. He can't even get it to his own facility. He's even offered to put it in himself if they would supply the cable. Yes, there's money out there right now at the federal level. The problem is, is there's nothing at the state level that's forcing these companies to follow through on this. I can't, you can't believe how many people outside the general communities don't have internet service or have the ability to get it. I think it's high time the state push forward, and as your state representative, that's one of the things I want to do. Because that has a lot to do with the ability for us to have communication, uh, internet links for our kids at home so they can have, do the study, the work, the, uh, I do a lot of analysis online. I happen to have internet service. I'm just thinking about all the avenues that they would have available to do their homework or even people to have their own email or whatever. As a state representative, that's one of the things I'm going to finally push forward with because we need to find some way to, to utilize that money the federal government has put forward there. And the state has done nothing to force this issue forward because the money is there. Let's get this done. Uh, actually, the $4 billion that I was talking about is money that's going to be coming up in the next three years. It's not money that's there right now. So that's the reason that we've got uh, some of these companies coming and talking to us legislators now, trying to begin to lay the groundwork for what's going to happen next year. Only thing I have to add, I go back and say again, why are we waiting for them to come to us? Is it not... Is it not our responsibility? I believe in pulling ourselves up at the bootstraps. Why are we waiting on them? We should have already been working on this years ago. Instead, we're gonna wait on them to show up and talk to us. That's what I heard. Did you hear different? I don't know what I can do other than talk to people. Okay.